Good day again. Uh, here is my uh, latest invention. Well, not really. Somebody beats me to it. Uh, <laughs> a little 15-year-old uh, girl actually from Canada beat me to uh, my idea, but it's okay. Uh, second place is not is not too bad either, eh? Uh, it's not a competition anyway. So here is my project. It's a um, heat harvester flashlight. So basically what it is, it's a little uh, chip that is sole purpose is to harvest energy from the most smallest source possible. And here I have my little uh, thermoelectric cooler hooked up to a little heat sink. And uh, actually as soon as this side becomes warmer than the heat sink, it produces a little bit of voltage and <clears throat> this board can actually be found on uh, eBay and Tindy. I'll post the uh, link down in the description for those who wants it and it goes for about uh, $35 plus the shipping and this one uh, there's two uh, uh, model available <clears throat> and this one start at 20 millivolts which is actually smaller uh smaller than most transistor and actually uh jfet transistor can go so uh it's actually pretty well made and i i tried to get just a chip and the chip is about twenty dollars so you add fifteen dollar more and you have all the parts a nice little board which come in a nice uh, solderable package and uh well it's already set up so you only need a couple of a jumper and it's ready to work. And this chip will output you uh, several preset voltage, uh, 1.8, I think it's 2.3 or 2.5, 3.3 and 5 volts. So right now mine is set up at 3.3 volts and the way I have it hooked, hooked up is uh the main uh, the 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 main output which is considered auxiliary will charge up to 3.3 volts and then once that's done it actually start charging the main output capacitor which is output and as to, as soon as this capacitor reach the uh range of the voltage which is 3.3 .3, uh i have it set up the way that the power good pin pulses the output to enable so what it does is as soon as the voltage reach the preset point it activate the secondary output which then light the LED I got two whites two green and two red LED because I wanted to something that uh, will be uh, universal for depending on the situation either you want red green or white depending on uh, what you want and uh, I haven't done anything more right now I was actually planning on making myself a headlight with that adding some uh, elastic stripe here and hook this up to my forehead and having a lovely uh, square shape after uh, after I'm done working with it but uh, so far I the only the, re the only way I use it is I just hold it like this and I go outside or whatever I walked around in the house and it's actually quite useful. It, it works quite well. The output, the light output is not the maximum of any of the LED. So uh, there's always way to improve. Like I could add, I could add some uh, super capacitor onto each side. Actually, I would add, I would need at least two in series to uh, have my 3.3 volt. And there's a pin which is actually storage which can actually be hooked to a rechargeable battery or like a super capacitor. And what it does is as soon as the chip uh, reach 3.3 volts and all the outputs are stable and everything, it start charging the uh, storage slowly so that it doesn't uh, affect the output. And if in the event the input goes dead, while well, it start taking automatically from the out from the storage output, so it can actually be very useful for uh, for example as uh, a solar light gar garden or whatever. As soon as the output goes off, well, it start taking from the uh, the input, and these chips are actually used 
for uh, microcontroller and stuff like that where very 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 little energy is available and when you need the energy you don't really need it for a long time like for example transmitting uh, data transmitting a let's say temperature sensor or temperature you don't really need lots of uh, power for that you just need a few a few milliseconds of power and then you're done then the chip goes back to uh, storage mode but uh, anyway uh, I have set up here a little uh, heatsink ooh that's actually pretty hot with my soldering iron here which I will remove because it is hotter than my uh, hand right now so the way I have it set up this uh, little uh, it's a little warm so it will actually turn on and here we go and right now while I'm more uh, the LEDs are almost lit uh, constantly because of the heat is actually pretty intense and here's the red and the green and this will work as soon as far as there's a different uh, temperature in between those two and it will actually go from fully lit to a blink blink state and until it actually died so it is quite uh, interesting to see uh, how it works and right now you don't really see it on a camera but it actually flashes it flashes I would say probably uh, 30 Hertz or so but on the camera you don't really see it and uh, it actually produces some some sharp flashes of light which well when it's perfectly dark you can actually the strobe effect but it's still uh, pretty usable in case of emergency alright uh, thanks for watching